recently ride testing has begun for the Smiler and it looks really really good um, although, however there have been some points where it has slowed down on some of the inversions but apparently people are just saying this is due to the um, the, the wheels but honestly I think it's just because it's testing the first picture well the first picture that I saw of the Smiler cars going around the track was from um, the Guinness World Records because the Smiler is the mo well has the most inversions on a roller coaster in the world, 14 loops, and the first photo I saw was the Guinness World Records one, like I just said, where they're holding the certificate and it looks awesome, and there's the car going over the Staffordshire knot, and it looks incredible. The yellow and the black really suits the um, the, the track and just the surroundings, like Oblivion is black, so this, it's just all you know merging into one awesome creation. Also, the marmalizer has got all of its elements tested. Um, I think they are still testing it, you know, while the cars are going round. This, um, I th it was a couple of days ago they actually started testing it. And um, John Wardley came to the site and viewed his creation being tested. And I, bet, I hope he's proud. I mean, he looks happy in the pictures. Now, some people, like, over the forums and, well, just the public were saying that the ride wasn't really going to last 2 minutes and 45 seconds it was, looked a lot shorter in the game but that's that's the game the ride, when I was watching an off-ride video from Alton Towers um, it looked very very fast but at the same time it took its time if you know what I mean it was, I would say it was about 3 minutes but god, 53 miles per hour it's faster than Nemi, come on, I mean, it's just insane. While John Wardley was at Alton Towers viewing the Smiler, he was also being interviewed by looks things of a picture that I found. Um, I don't know when the the video is going to be up, I don't know who it's going to be uploaded by, it could be Alton Towers, it could be, could be anyone, but at least a lot has been going on today and yesterday, the day before that, and the day before that. Now onto something that isn't really related to testing, more of the ride experience. Um, ITV uploaded a video onto their channel showing you what it's like to be on the Smiler. It's a point of view. Um, it gives you a good little shot into the station and even the indoor bit. It's just it's all of the ride, except um, it's the video's flipped. Um, I have no idea why. Is it supposed to be kind of like the marmalising effects? Who the heck knows? I, I don't know. There will be a link in the description for the ITV channel, so go on ahead, have a look. It'll be good fun to experience. Well, well, it's not really an experience until you go there, but just have a look. I've seen it. It looks really, really cool. It looks very fast and very disorientating, so really, I would advise you to check out the ITV channel. Thanks for watching this update for the Smiler. The next video will be at Alton Towers for the big day. Well, actually we're going two days after the opening day, but hey, it's gonna be busy as hell, but still, um, thank you for subscribing. Check out my previous videos, updates. Um, my last update were, was actually at Alton Towers. Um, anyway, just like my videos, that'll be nice. I wanna get this channel big, like I'm saying. Thank you, and good night.